I love this. Accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. What a great way to live, right? If we did that, there would be no fear, there would be no worry, there would be no stress, there wouldn't, we wouldn't have to worry about change. We would be flowing with life instead of resisting it. And then reality hits, right? When we say it is what it is, it does not necessarily mean that you like what is. It doesn't even mean you may want what is. Nor does it mean that it um, doesn't have an impact on your life. Because a lot of times those changes, especially the ones that we don't really want, do have a great impact on our life. And I think it's really important that we recognize that, that we acknowledge that. It is what it is means you've simply accepted what's happening and you're ready to move on from that. Think about <clears throat> how you react when things don't go your way. I know how I react. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you I'm real proud about it. But sometimes we feel angry. We feel sad. Maybe we feel hopeless. Maybe we spend time feeling sorry for ourselves. I'm sure none of you here do that. However, no. However, when we do those kinds of things, what's happening? We're hurting ourselves, right? We're making ourselves uncomfortable. Dare I even say miserable. And then we're stressing. Another way to move through change and challenges is to figure out a way to accept what's happened, what's going on, and then move on from that. It can absolutely be challenging to accept what we don't want. However, have you found that it's even more challenging not to? And yet we still do it, but that's part of our humanness. When we resist reality, which is what we're doing by not acknowledging, but when we resist reality, we tend to avoid um, our true feelings about a particular situation or, or, or a challenge. And that can lead us to that destructive behavior, that depression, that anxiety, that stress. And sometimes solving our difficulty is not really simple, especially when we don't have any control over it. And truth be told, most of the time with those major big changes in our life, we don't have any control over it. Some things we can change, as Gina shared. <laughs> we can, however, no matter what the situation, no matter what the challenge, we can change how we feel about the situation by simply changing how we see it, how we view life, our perception. Acceptance means accepting life as it is in the moment and not resisting what we cannot change or what we don't want to change, because sometimes we don't. And then we want to acknowledge that it has actually happened and admit that it's had an impact on our life in one way or another. The boundary to what we can accept is the boundary to our personal freedom. And I really want you to think about that. Because if we can only accept this much, then our freedom is going to be right here. Expanding our awareness of what we can accept opens up a world of freedom. That's the process and relearning how to, part of the process and how to relearn how to see life, how to experience life. Now acceptance requires practice and then a little more practice. It can take some time so you can't be hard on yourselves and I'll tell you, it is so worth it in the long run. Who wants to be frustrated or anxious or stressed? So acceptance is the way out of all of that. Accepting change or difficult situations won't be a one-time thing, I'm sorry to say. 
And you've probably already found that out. Accepting change or difficult situations, um, are, sometimes we make them more challenging. And, and this is how we make them more challenging. This isn't fair. Anyone ever said that? I cannot believe this happened. Or things should be different. That's how we get caught up in that, that frustration and that stress. Opportunities to practice um, acceptance in our life, they're plentiful. And you will have those from now until you move on to your next expression, whatever that looks like. Not accepting life as it is doesn't make it disappear. Have you found that out? And accepting life as it is doesn't mean that you have to suffer through it. The power behind acceptance is to stop resisting and to find the lesson. Because there is always a lesson behind it. I love this quote by Arthur uh, Rubenstein. He said, of course, there is no formula for success, except perhaps an unconditional acceptance of life and what it brings. Hmm. It is what it is, right? Part of the real beauty of life is that it's unpredictable. Now, we can look at that and say, that's beauty. <laughs> but it is. It's, it's a beautiful thing about life. We never know what's next. Nothing is permanent. Everything changes. And of course, a lot of things can and will happen that will transform who you are, maybe even day to day. And those changes, those circumstances, absolutely have an impact on your life. That's why it's so important for us to cultivate that ability to accept whatever comes, to learn to embrace it, to learn from it, to take lessons from it. We want to develop that habit of looking at whatever happens through a positive mindset as opposed to that defeatist attitude. Probably you've never had a defeatist attitude. I'm just saying some people do. Let's shift that though and go th and, and look at it through that positive mindset. Life's challenges, be it a loss of a loved one or loss of a, a really important relationship, a health challenge, those things aren't um, always easy to embrace when we're going through them, when we're suffering through them and wishing those things um, had never happened or wishing those things were different than they were. However, here's what we can do. If we start cultivating our acceptance in our lives right now, it will likely help us with future crises in a more spiritual way helping us view things from a higher perspective, understanding that life has a plan and we aren't necessarily privy to it at this point in time. Trust, right? Trusting in life. That is how we want to learn to accept instead of resist. Acceptance is a choice. It's a choice that we have. We have two ways to work through our challenges and our changes in our life. One is to accept what's happening, see the positive, choose a peaceful state of mind. And two, we can fight against it, we can be miserable, and we can struggle against the universe. I think it's an easy choice. I found some information on these two incredible people that um, I'm going to share with you. The first one, his name is Redmond Ramos. And he's a beautiful example of going with the flow, of accepting life as it is in the moment and learning lessons from that. He's a retired U.S. Navy hospital corpsman third class. And he was deployed to Afghanistan <coughs> and stepped on an IED. 
and lost his leg. Um, and this is what he said. When you were, and he lives in Murrieta. How cool is that? He's a neighbor. Um, he said, when you are injured and lying in a hospital bed, bed, you face a choice. Feel sorry for yourself and drink the pain away. Try to get back to the person you used to be. Or open your eyes and finally live life. Become better than you ever were. How beautiful is that? He said, the more I focused on improving myself and giving back, the better I felt. When I left the military, I started teaching corpsmen, Marines, and police officers combat trauma medicine. I later started working for Elizabeth Hospice Center, which honors the service of veterans with six months or less to live. After thousands of people helped me recover, I found happiness in helping others. What a beautiful lesson for him and for us if we hear it. He is part of the Wounded uh, Warrior Project. He swims, he plays volleyball, he does track and field. Life threw him this curveball, if you will, but he didn't stop. There was more to life and he knew that and he understood that and he accepted that most importantly. This other woman up here, her name is Chris Carr. And her cancer turned into a business of hope and healing. In 2003, she was 32 years old, went to a regular doctor visit and got the news. She had a diagnosis of a rare an incurable stage four cancer. Well, she decided not to succumb to that. She decided to challenge her diagnosis head on. She attacked her cancer with a brand new nutritional lifestyle, turned her experience into a series of successful self-health books and documentaries, check them out, <laughs> and eventually she launched her own uh, wellness website. She has over 40,000 followers. And today, she is celebrating a decade of what she calls thriving with cancer. She is revered as one of the most prominent experts on healthy living. You see, you take a tragedy and you turn it into something really beautiful. And not just for self, for others. That's what we're here for, right? We talk about that a lot, is in being in service. And that's why we're here, to be in service to one another, to all human beings on this beautiful planet. Now in the book, Five Things We Cannot Change, uh, Rico poses some really important questions that he asks us to contemplate. Are we here to get our way or to dance with the flow of life? Are we here to make sure everything goes according to our plans or to trust the surprises and synchronicities that lead us to new vistas? Are we here to make sure we get a fair deal or are we here to be upright and loving? Are we here to avoid pain or to deal with it, grow from it, learn from it, and be compassionate through it? Are we here to be loyally loved by everyone or to love with all of our might? I think those are some really important things to look at and to think about. Now, those two people I just shared um, about obviously knew the answer to those questions. They live life trusting reality more than their own hopes and expectations. Understanding that in that, there's a lesson for them, a way to serve, a way to fulfill their purpose while they're here on this planet. Practicing acceptance prepares us to live in an ever-changing world. We never know what's going to happen next. 
Finding the lesson, finding the purpose behind every challenge helps us to embrace those challenges instead of resisting them. Helps us to find that positive and, and how can I serve and what can this do for me and others. So choose not to judge what happens in your life. Instead, know, know that everything happens for a reason. Trust that bigger and better things are going to follow. Bigger and better things are always coming. We don't always see them on the onset. They're there. And that's the beginning of true acceptance. That's how we start that process. So when something unpredictable happens, instead of complaining, instead of overthinking the situation, choose to live with it. Choose to see that positive, knowing that the universe is on your side. The universe is giving you a lesson, bringing you those challenges for your own personal growth. So I'm going to close this morning with this heavy-duty thought. You ready? Although it is what it is, it will become what you make it. So thank you for being here while I shared this truth as I understand it.